Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Here we go again, in France, as they say, civil war is brewing. As serving French soldiers send Macron another chilling warning, following earlier letter from retired generals calling for military action against Islamists. Bear in mind, uh, France is the biggest concentration with 5 million, uh, back from the previous territories down in uh, Africa, mainly. Um, hence, 5 million in France. And this isn't just from retired French soldiers anymore. Um, it is from current active serving French soldiers. And their point is that, hey, if, if we're sent out to the Middle East to fight Islam, why the hell are you importing so much Islam into our country? And if, if you're giving concessions and compromising on Islamic values, then there's going to be hell to pay. Uh, we are trained, after all, to take down Islam. And now you're making Fr France more Islamic, what would you expect to happen from it? And there has been a uh, majority support for the open letter as well. Um, not a huge majority. Um, it's, it's about a 52-48 split. Um, and then for Le Pen supporters, it's more like uh, three quarters to a quarter, of course. <clears throat> but this is where it gets obviously difficult for Macron having to try and straddle the line between what Germany wants, <laughs> leading the European Union, and then of course what the French citizens want, if he cannot get a big enough reliable voting bloc before the next election. Uh, because that is why there is so much immigration forced into the West. Um, from what I see, it's, it's of no point of sympathy or pity or charity for other countries, it is instead trying to get a more reliable voting bloc into the UK. I mean, how do you think City Kant was re-elected in London recently? Do you think it was on the policies, or do you think it was on the demographics? Let's be real, it was definitely about the demographics. And so that voting bloc is very consistent now, and it's sizable and large enough to be relied upon and enable it to carry the, the left through elections in London. <clears throat> Obviously, we, we do still intend to overturn that. But in a place like France, where it's very sizable and noticeable, but there isn't enough support of integration because it's kind of too much too quickly, then there is pushback. And that means that the perhaps reliable voting block of 5 million or so, which it isn't giving um, voters rights, but nonetheless, that which is supposed to be a reliable voting block to keep them in power, isn't actually coming to fruition, partly because they're not voting, because they can't, and also because the damage that is being done by the Islamic communities is being seen through the rest of France, and therefore there is, thankfully, a sizable pushback. And that's what Le Pen has been capitalising on, of course, with the attacks through 2020. I mean, <laughs> let's be real, you don't really need to pick a particular year anymore to try and say, oh, Islamic attacks in the West, because they are frequent enough in order to <clears throat> be able to pick any year and then pick out quite a few. So the, the response to this, to try and have some sort of semblance of defence, is to just try and say, you know, well, if you're in the military, then you should... Uh, speak with conviction and put your name with what it is that you're writing. So sure, they've got <clears throat> over 100 active service members supporting this, but very few are actually taking credit for attributing their, their names or signatures to the letter. And so the, the, the pushback doesn't actually seem to be, no, you're wrong and this is why. It's just, well, if you think that, then tell us who you are. And it's like, well, how's about no? Because if we're saying that we're concerned that we're being uh, victimised and, and picked upon for trying to defend our country, and now you're saying, right, who in particular are you? Then, you know, if, if, if we give you those details, then you're going to do exactly what we've just said, and you know who to target. So no, we're not going to do that. If... And I say, this This comes from a part of expressing an opinion. If it's supposed to be a, a classified source and a reliable source, then by all means it's different. 
But this kind of thing of, hey, here's an opinion piece, and go, oh, right, yeah, fair enough. That's your opinion. And it so happens that there's a lot of support for it from the, the rest of the nation. So that's where the distinction um, should be drawn, in my eyes at least, of what's anonymous and then what's reliable, essentially. But of course, when it comes back to trying to get a rebuttal to such a statement of just saying, we want to know who you are, well, one, of course, then you're not disproving anything that is being claimed, and the other is that it seems like you're not even trying to disprove anything that's being claimed, but instead you would go after the person who's made the statement instead of attack the statement itself. And that is never a good way to win an argument. It's just going for ad hominem attacks, and that is it. But that's where it stands at present. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you think, mm, yeah, civil war is brewing over there, or if instead it's just now that they're just trying to kick off a fuss in order to try and make these issues more widely known in time for the next election in order to try and swing it for Le Pen. And sure, there's definitely truth in the statement, but it's mainly politicking in order to try and sway opinion at an opportune moment. Either way, let me know down below. Always intrigued to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, as always, until next time, have a good one.